Okay, let's try something together. Repeat after me. When I see a wellness hack on the internet, I am going to ignore it. Okay, now your turn. Okay, good. And why are we going to do this? It's because we do not want fiery diarrhea or a burnt esophagus. And if those aren't good enough reasons for you, then you're beyond help. Okay, so let's talk about some true things and some not true things. Now, it's absolutely true that there is some good research showing that there are some bioactive compounds that can temporarily increase someone's resting metabolic rate. And the compound I'm referring to here is obviously caffeine. But before you go and chug an entire pot of coffee and clog your toilet, just remember a few things. Dosage. The benefits seem to cap out at about two cups of coffee, which obviously in this situation, mega doses are not a wise choice. Duration. Unlike exercise, which can turn up somebody's basal metabolic rate for quite a while, caffeine, the effect is quite short lived and the effect isn't the same on everybody. Now to our spicy metabolism elixir. Water, lemon juice, cayenne pepper, and salt. I wonder how that tastes. Heck, at least you use the word spicy in the name because it's appropriate foreshadowing on how your rear end is gonna feel when all of this comes right back out in the next hour, hour and a half. Because this is gonna have a nice laxative effect. Also, why is the wellness industry so focused on telling people to eat or drink things that are gonna make them poop their pants? And diarrhea due to consuming detox products is not good for you either. It can lead to dehydration, electrolyte loss, and a temporary drop on the scale due to consuming these products is not real weight loss. Okay. Let's talk about cayenne pepper or capsaicin for a hot second. So is there any legitimacy into the capsaicin cayenne pepper helping people lose weight? Yes, but not in the same mechanism as you would think, is that it increases the sensation of fullness at meal times. So that when this capsaicin or the red pepper, um, something spicy was consumed with food, not with water, not by itself, but with food, their perception of fullness or satiety increased Therefore, they consumed less calories at the meal, leading to negative energy balance. So it's very important to contrast the difference between that research study and this beverage. In the research study, the dosage of the pepper used was significantly higher and it was with a meal time. So the function of the pepper was to help increase satiety of the meal so the people consumed less calories during the day, therefore inducing a calorie deficit, helping them to lose weight. Versus this beverage, which is gonna hydrate you and likely make you poop your pants and the dosage of the capsaicin is likely too low to do anything except irritate your bee hole when you're going number two. Moving on, it's not news that herbs and spices have have a host of health benefits. And for some people, a little bit of spice can actually help with digestion, unless you're someone with IBS or GERD, then we're just gonna put it on the back burner. And you know how sometimes too much of a good thing can be a bad thing? And remember when I mentioned a burnt esophagus and we're back to not listening to influencer trends again. Another influencer told her half a million followers for a constipation hack to cover oranges in cinnamon and cayenne pepper. Capsaicin can increase the rate of digestion. Small amounts, this may be beneficial. Large amounts combine that with the fact that it's a GI irritant and this poor woman burned her esophagus in the process. So what have we learned today? Spices are great on food and can have health benefits. And when we see a wellness trend on the internet, we are ignoring it because we like our esophaguses and our bumholes just the way they are and we wanna keep them that way.